of what we're trying to get is adaptive, critical thinking engineers that can go on all different types of aircraft, platforms, systems, and be able to think about how do I take this problem how do I figure out what the risks are and how do I go out and safely, securely, effectively, and efficiently test the system? So over the course of the year, the students fly in 80 different curriculum sorties. I'm gonna highlight four of them for you and they're a build up throughout the year. The first one is called Airborne Test Conduct Intro. It's on a C-12 and really what we're working on there is crew coordination, communication, and collection of data. Okay. This is my first time on the C-12. Oh, okay. yeah. great, okay. So. Well, today in the C-12, we're um, gonna be introducing our junior students, their first flight in the C-12 as a team. Should be a good time. A lot of planning's gone into it, mainly on the engineer side and just looking forward to get out there and fall on a beautiful day. So they'll be doing test conduct and uh, basic attitude flying for the pilots. So this is their first time to kind of work as a team and work on that communication and how to safely and secure, securely and effectively run a mission so that they can do it in a timely fashion while collecting all the required data in a safe manner. These test cars are based on uh, performance mostly, and then we do a few systems at the end for coming into land during the weather. But the real focus of the mission is just that test conduct. So we're at, we don't actually have them collecting all the data they would need to do a full analysis for performance, but it's just getting them used to taking data and making the calls. And how to, again, it's all about that communication and the fundamentals of the flight test conduct really for them. From there, I'm gonna show you guys tower flyby. So tower flyby is really about the data. It's where we have airplanes flying past the tower where we have really good truth source information. So we know the air mass, the temperature, and so we can compare that to what the airplane is measuring. This is an interesting technique insofar as it uh, gives us very accurate data and it's not that hard to realize. Before each of those kind of flight tests, we perform a risk analysis in order to mitigate those risks, uh, ground collision. So for that, we have a safety uh, altitude. Uh, another issue is a uh, bird strike. Uh, we don't want uh, one of our aircraft to, uh, to uh, impact a bird at low altitude. All right, then fast forward in the curriculum and the students are now getting in a much more complex test. You're going to see high angle of attack testing on the F-16. This is where we're looking at the flight controls and the students have to think about a complex system, how there's different types of safety risk, how they use a control room. So I, I always think about uh, TCing as a sports event and in, uh, in the sense that you do all this preparation, all this build up and practice, and then you go execute and you do your sport and you perform at the highest level you can. And that's what I think about with control rooms is you got your team together, you put a lot of effort on the front end, and now it's time to put the headset on get ready to get some data and keep the air crew safe. So engineer on the ground, looking at information, talking to a pilot in an airplane that's departing from controlled flight, uh, which is pretty exciting, and working through those conditions. Fantastic, looks good. Good job. And then finally, you're gonna hear about our first flight. So the students have to go out and think about how they would take a brand new airplane and approach that for the very first time. Priority on every first flight is to land safely. So you're working your entire flight to set the airplane up to come back and land safely. You have predictions that help prepare you for this. You've practiced in airplanes that are similar. You have a lot of experience of handling unknowns. But what you learn during that flight is how that particular airplane handles as you're going to come back toward the ground. So the end goal is after the students graduate, they're able to be critical thinkers to go on any of the different types of programs that we have within the Air Force. They can identify what those risks are, they can work at, together as a team, figure out how to be in a control room or on board the airplane to safely test the programs, and then analyze the results and give those reports out so that we know if we're going to buy the airplane, if we need to make fixes, what we're going to do.